Lisa is six days old. At this age, she's supposed to have received the BCG vaccine against TB and the polio zero vaccine. Her mother, Rachel Katutu, whom we found in Luzira, however, says Lisa is yet to receive her dosage. It's heartbreaking. For the first time when I was told there's no vaccine, I was traumatized. Like how mommy said, I was like, what? These things are suppo I, they're supposed to be given at birth. Even though a child can be immunized against TB under five years of age, the vaccination policy in Uganda calls for BCG vaccine to be given at birth or at first clinical contact. We are in Nakasero Hospital and we thought probably Nakasero Hospital has, being a big hospital. But unfortunately, when they were discharging us, the nurse came and told us, no, the vaccine is out of stock. And we were like, what? What are we going to do about this? What they are doing for Rachel is the same thing they did for her sister, Rita, whose baby is about three weeks old. Where he was born, Kampala Hospital did not have. So we needed to move from hospital to hospital. Eventually, about seven days later, we got from Paragon. She had to brave the morning cold to be the first on the line but at the same hospital, her sister hasn't been as lucky. They said, new baby? Yes. BCG? Yes. Unfortunately, it's out of stock. Rachel is still on the hunt. Calling people, maybe cousins who are doctors, I mean nurses, and inquiring if they, they know places with vaccines. And that hasn't helped? No, it hasn't. She now has a calendar for some of the hospitals and is already planning her rounds. Wednesday, she'll try Bugalobi, Thursday, Paragon, and a health center in Bunamwaya. Networking is what keeps her on her toes with a bit of hope. We leave our numbers wherever we can. Someone can call you and tell you, we hired it at this hospital, so you rush there. Two newborns in this family and each has been struggling to get vaccinated. The parents say that they would appreciate a little more information from the government about where to get the service. That's how it has been for most parents looking for vaccines, BCG, polio and measles. On Facebook, a father, Leon Senyange, told me he had searched for the measles vaccine from five health facilities in vain. And other people have been reaching out on social media. They are supposed to be uh, informed. informed. The Director General Health Services at Halia last week said the problem was global. The big factory that manufactures these vaccines was un undergoing a standard upgrade. And so it closed down and uh, smaller factories were then tasked to... Um, manufacture these vaccines, but their capacity is not adequate. Shauva says Uganda has enough stock with the national medical stores confirming to be able to take the country right through February. We are now doing the whole of Eastern and we are winding it up. Tomorrow onwards we are doing Central like that continuously. Uganda has made great strides in immunization, but shortages at different facilities may drag the country back. Diseases such as TB are on the rise in the country. And in 2013, globally, over half a million children between 0 and 14 years of age fell ill with TB, according to WHO. About 80,000 died. A report released this month from WHO also says that progress towards eliminating measles is stalling because vaccination is decreasing. Florence Alimba, NTV.